Hello there. So the PRS Santana is back. This is the 2017. I made a video of uh, the mods I did to it. And I think I mentioned I wanted to add side dot markers because as you can see this is a right handed guitar and I'm a lefty. And so the side dots are where they should be if you were a righty but then on the lefty obviously they're not and so I pulled out the good old Ryobi drill kit and the drill and I already did a couple of uh, test runs here this is an old um, fret beveling file I made one time and right there you can see those actually turned out pretty good in that uh, rough piece of wood and so I went ahead and I already did one on the 15th fret of the Santana I'll show you right now but first let me show you um, the drill bits uh, the first one I use and that's the one to make the pilot hole would be a 1 16th and then the second one is a 5 64 sorry my hands are dirty I just came straight from work and felt inspired to do this and so what you do is you get the the thinner one first which is the 1 16th and then you chase it with the uh, 5 64ths and obviously you go really slow and very controlled as you can see this is too heavy a drill for this project but it works out pretty good and so now let me just pick up the guitar and show you how that 15th fret turned out hopefully this can focus see right there um, it's a little dirty and scuffy because I haven't cleaned it out but it's actually pretty smooth I can feel the divot but I still need to chase it with a brand new sharp razor blade and I can already tell this is gonna work out fine and so let me see if I can edit this video so I can show you how I'm drilling the hole and uh, that way if you feel like doing this to your guitar you know if you feel handy enough then uh, yeah just go ahead and uh, and try it it's working out pretty good obviously this is the first one but let me see if I can film at least doing one Here's where I got the side marker from. That's uh, Philadelphia Luthier Supplies. Those were like three bucks on eBay. Those are cream colored. I felt they went good with the uh, with the style of guitar. So let's see how I can go about filming this to give you a little bit of confidence and uh, see if in the future you can mod your own guitar and do uh, side markers. Okay, so this is the best angle I could actually set up my phone to film. So I already chased it, but let me see. Let me try. Go a little bit deeper there. I'm only going about an eighth of an inch. I really don't want to go any lower than that. And so let's see here. Is this one yet? So, pilot hole with a 1 16th, then we're going to chase it with the 5 64ths. Right there. Now, here's a little bit of a trick. If this thing is a little bit too big for that hole, get yourself a piece of, uh, let's see, this is 360 metal. Uh, sandpaper and just uh, fold it over and twist it a little bit and then as you twist it you're gonna take off some uh, material off you can see right there on the paper it's coming off and it's gonna remain clean so you should be alright I'm just gonna twist it a little bit more here as you can see this is dirty but then I gotta I gotta clean it up and oil it up again and again I gotta I gotta chase it with a razor blade and so that's going right in just like that right there and so now we're just gonna chase it with a, it has to be a brand new razor blade totally recommend it um, let's see and then just go really slow make sure you don't take any finish off you don't take any wood off if if it if it remains a little bit too high at first it's fine that razor blade will take off more material later on so you can see right there, that's pretty much 90% of the way there. And then I'm going to go this way a little bit, 
Then I'm going to turn it at an angle, shave it off. Turn it the other way at an angle, shave off a little bit. The opposite way. Same thing, another angle. And I'm totally feeling that I'm not um, taking off any wood or finish. It'd probably be finish in this case. It's a clear coat. So right there. Like I said, I still got to clean them up. But right there. Like I can I can feel this one, the first one I did a little bit more because I haven't chased it with the uh, razor blade, but this one feels great. And as you run your hand through the neck, you can't even feel it at all. And so that's pretty much it. The key is the 116th pilot hole followed by the 564ths. If you go straight to the 564ths, you are going to chip the finish. And I tried it on a different piece of wood, like I said, and I figured that out. And so pilot with the 16th, then go with uh, the 564ths, put it in, and then uh, just uh, cut it off a little bit with the, uh, with the razor blade. And I'm not even using super glue or, or anything. And what I figure is this is actually going to last because that's compression right there. Hopefully the guitar will never be uh, hit that way. And you can see they're still right there. And so I feel pretty confident about that. That looks pretty good. Hopefully that angle can uh, catch them right there. Um, it looks a little crooked on film, but I can tell it's probably because of the glare, but they're perfectly in line right there as far as, you know, this way. And so that's it. That's all you do. Um, a little patience, a little time, and you can make your guitar a little bit better. And uh, considering you're, uh, hopefully if uh, you're watching this and you're a lefty, then this can make uh, playing guitar a little bit easier on you. So that's it. See ya.